Live from center court, Old England Club. Sun beaming down now. Almost a bizarre sight over the fortnight. Rain every single day of the championships at one stage or another. Reminder, Bud, live again tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Breakfast at Wimbledon, part two, men's finals. I'll come back if you will. Be here. Might sleep here. Chris had already conceded it. If it was over, it was a winner. Wimbledon record, 44 and 7. Of course, she's won in the doubles championship as well. It's long. 40, 30. I think we'll see more lobbing from Everett Lloyd. She does it very well. She pitched a beauty on the last match point against Billie Jean King yesterday. And that okay. slice serve, two games off, second set. Two games off, second set. The face of a very, very... Lock 15. Tina cutting that backhand deep, so tough to return. Yeah. And another passing shot for Martina. Where do you find a weakness? Not perfect. She's breezed through the tournament. Closest anyone has gotten to her is a 6-4 game. Beats Everett Lloyd 6-1, first game in the championship. Baseline. And more break points. Chris Everett Lloyd in the minefield. Not okay. Driven deep to the corner. And now Chrissy, whack, coming up. She's starting to think she's got to push forward, but it's still break point. Balls like that. And so Navratilova breaks through again. She has a winning lead, three games to two. The excitement surrounding last week's arrival of the new prince still buzzing around the Royal Buckingham Palace. Princess Diane, an ardent tennis fan, a visitor at Wimbledon many times last year. Back at center court, Byron Day is in the standing room section. What's the feeling there, Byron? Well, Dick, if ever a crowd was pulling for an underdog, it's this one. They seem to be leaning back and forth as Chris is trying to get her game going against Martina. But so far, Chris is having a lot of problems. But the crowd is still solidly behind her. Dick? Emmett Lloyd has just banged a forehand passing shot. 15. She needs a little time. If she can buy time to play herself into form and hope that Martina goes off somewhere. She'll get it. But! Oh. 
Awesome display by Martina. The reflex volley. Now, Martina ready for anything in the eyeball-to-eyeball -eyeball situation. And she has the winner. Just turns her back. Knew it all the time. 15-all. That hurts Chrissy. Could have been love 30. Now, Chris Everett Lloyd respects the net talent of Martina. They were doubles partners and won Wimbledon a few years ago. Chalk, but behind the service line. 1976, the doubles team of Martina and Chris won the Wimbledon doubles. Martina's won with three different partners now, the doubles here. And she's in the final again today. today she saves herself pulling it out of the rib cage and Chrissy I think changed her mind she was going to go cross court decided on down the line it is 30 all but Martina with reflexes off that net cord superb athlete oh a backhand that gets Chrissy a great point she will not relinquish this championship and she's going to have to be perfect. Now, the bee, we, this is the first one we've seen. The rogue bees have tormented Wimbledon. Kathy Rinaldi was stung on center court. A heroic ball boy. Jimmy Connors was stung on center court. Vince Van Patten was stung on outside court. As though she didn't have enough trouble with Martina. Martina really doesn't want this comic relief. She's Not on a roll. At break point. <laughs> Oh, the size of that thing. Eat your lunch. You don't want that for breakfast at Wimbledon. <laughs> the friend's box. Mama Everett in the dark glasses. Pretty serious in there. It's much harder to watch than to play from an emotional standpoint. in the second set two for each three games all, not a particularly set. good lob but I think Martina Wild was piece. put off just a little bit by the B attack Line. Oh. That's right out of Chris Everett Lloyd's baseline rally textbook. Colette Everett, John Lloyd, mother and husband, coach Dennis Ralston, the Everett camp. A delayed rush. Uh oh, two straight overhead errors. Will ever exploit this? So, no sun problem here, Martina. Maybe thinking about the last one she missed. And it goes into the net. Pretty good positioning. I thought she hit it squarely. 30 love. Oh. 
the more of those you miss, the more your confidence diminishes. Double fault number two for Everett Lloyd. Rene Richards, the coach of Martina Navratilova on tactics. Once again, she has returned to medical practice. <coughs> Ophthalmological surgeon <coughs> in New York after her five years on the tennis circuit. You would think Martina would have more double faults with a bigger serve. She's been perfect. Such a good angle, bud, on that drop. Now, Chrissy coming over the ball a little bit, and it's 30 all. Chrissy just trying to hit a lot of balls, and here she comes again. And Martina misses on the line. Now, Chrissy is playing very smart tennis, which we expect of her. She's going to try to rush Martina once in a while. Probe, get to the net. Hit more balls, get used to the court, get used to the pace. She's behind. A set. And three all. Game and that's why. So now Everett Lloyd has won two straight games, which is a high for her today. And she leads 4-3 in the second set. We're live from Wimbledon. Let's go to court one. The semifinals, Tim Bay out of John McEnroe. McEnroe won the first set 6-3. He leads 3-1 second set. Has one service break. Could pick up another right here. Tim Mayotte really struggling now. Down love 40. Triple break point as McEnroe has raised the level of his returns here in the second set. Game to McEnroe. And he breaks. So McEnroe now leads four games to one. We're in the second set. We'll be back four with the one, second McEnroe course of leads. breakfast at Wimbledon. Set. By one set to look. For the Women's Championship 1982 Wimbledon. 4-3 Lloyd second set. But Martina Navratilova is up a 6-1 first set, bud. It's 15 love. Martina has just stroked a backhand passing shot beyond the reach of an attacking Chris Everett. Playing for time. That's Chris Everett. Try to stay out there. Martina's not going to play any better than she has. 15 so all. try to stay with her and hope the errors will begin. points here and she'll be right back in the thick of it despite a shabby start she really got out in front of that one and drove it her 10th anniversary here at Wimbledon semifinals in 1972 as a 17 year old not good enough the pop-up volley. This is the cathedral, the temple, two of the all-time lady players involved. Five championships represented in this match. Second serve, break points. And it could begin sliding away for Martina right now. She led. 6-1, 3-2 on a break. The old Martina backhand. The first bad-looking backhand we used to see so often. Is it nerves? First time Chris Everett Lloyd has led in the match. And not only leading, but serving for parity. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Now, this crowd getting boisterous. There are strong feelings here. Well, you know that for Chris Everett Lloyd, marrying John Lloyd, a hero, sports hero, top British player. English by marriage.
You can see Chris hitting with more authority as the match is developed. Martinez still up one break over Chris. That's reflected in that 6-1 first set victory. Up a set, yep. But Chris Everett Lloyd. Three points from all square. And Martina has gone up. 30, love. Five straight points for Chrissy. She's won three straight games. Long and three set points. Here comes Chrissy. And this match for the title is dead even. Chris Everett Lloyd rebounding to win the second set 6-3. Central London's Piccadilly Circus. No carousels or wild animals on the circle of Piccadilly, but you can be entertained with lots of interesting people and pigeons. Bring some breadcrumbs. That's the scoreboard live on court one, 6-3 McEnroe in the first set, and McEnroe about to close out the second set. Let's go back to Charlie and Donald. Game and second set Game to McEnroe. and second set to McEnroe. And McEnroe mishit that return off the backhand, Charlie, but it dropped in, and so John McEnroe now speeds. leads comfortably second two set sets to, to love. By six games to one. So that's the story here. Let's McEnroe go over to center court. Two sets to love. Fifteen, love. And here at center court, Martina Navratilova opening the third set. She won the first set 6-1. Chris Everett Lloyd rallied 6-3 in the second. Martina's won the first point. Another stretch run. 30 lives. Eight. On the first point, Nine. Martina pounded away an overhead, which must have made her feel a little better since she missed two crucial smashes in losing the second set. So it's one set all for the championship. Should remind fans that with John McEnroe already up two sets, he will play the winner of the Jimmy Connors Mark Edmondson match in the finals tomorrow. That'll be live here, breakfast at Wimbledon. Now, as Martina pulled herself together after a bad passage. Forty fifteen. Her first. <laughs> Martina says she can keep her head on straight these days. We'll see. First double fault. She acknowledges the problem of nerves in the past. It was 40 love. 40-30. And Deuce leaping at the forehand, a little bit impatient. Yes. She's really not turning that shoulder into the ball. She's staying open and trying to compensate by jumping at the ball. Now, opening game of the third set, so important. Now, just the right approach. She covers the down the line and has it. Advantage for Martina. This is her fourth game point. Way off in that serve, though. It's Chris. 
sliced lob. That will be in play, I believe. Yes. Now, Chrissy reads that one. And the attacking Everett Lloyd is actually taking the net away from the woman whose province that is. Now watch. She's really slicing that ball heavily. And Chrissy is right there to take advantage of it. Martina really made her work for that Second point. Second deuce. Net court. Off the racket. Martina, off the frame of the racket, she looks up in almost despair. Advantage, Miss Navratilova. But she has her fifth game point. This is the opening game of the final set for the championship. Chrissy moving, and so is Martina! Both women driven out of court. And what a confidence builder for Martina Navratilova. Two deuces. She was up 40 long. Now look. Chrissy is going to get that ball. But then yeah, vanish. And Martina is left First standing game, with a one love lead. Final set. Prior to Wimbledon, Martina was asked about Wimbledon. And could she beat Chris Everett? I hope so. I'm, I've been working out really hard, practicing a lot more than ever before, and really feeling the ball on the racket. And uh, the grass, I won on the, the Australian Open. I beat Chris on grass in a good match. And I, you know, beating Chris, obviously, you feel you can beat anybody. She's tough on grass, as, as tough as she's on clay, really. She's just playing tough. You're going to have to carry her out of here to take the championship away. But Martina was given a big lift after losing three straight games by holding through two deuces. Oh! <laughs> Brilliant play. Now you'll see that backhand in action. Chris Everett Lloyd. Martina has hit the shot she wanted to hit, but Chris does her one better. It's 15 love. Yeah. Now to Lova. Renee Richards on the right, Nancy Lieberman on the left. Team Never to Lova, a three way effort, a triumvirate this year says Martina, giving them credit. Renee for the tactics. Nancy for the training. What? And Renee Press left her medical practice in New York to fly over for this tournament, as she did for the French Open, which Martina won for the first time. Martina on a 26-match streak. Out. 15. Martina trying to win the Wimbledon Championship for the third time, as you see at the Everett Lloyd fan club. Chrissy going for her fourth, the all-time ladies winner, Helen Wills Moody. Eight times she won this tournament. Hope she's watching, Dick. Out in Carmel, California. She won every match she played at Wimbledon, but one. Mm. 40, 15. Martina didn't like that bounce, but that's going to be part of this game. It's well-worn, the lawn on center court. Third final they've played. Martina was the victor, 1978-79. Net cord again goes for Everett Lloyd. One game off. Game for Mrs. Lloyd. As we said yesterday. One game all. Final set. Baseball known as the game of inches, <laughs> but this is the game. One game all. The home stretch for the title. Two champions. Oh. 
15, Love. Both these women will undoubtedly be enshrined one day at the International Tennis Hall of Fame, Newport, Rhode Island where the grass court tournament starts Monday, the last grass court championship in America. And they have many more matches to play. Martina's only 25, Chris 27. But Chris, when she was six 15, years old, 30. used the regular size racket. And so she had to use the two hands to swing it because of the weight. Boy, she's learned early a great lesson. And inspired a generation. Now, two break points off those low returns. Martina herself started when she was five years old. Both her parents in Czechoslovakia were tennis players. Is it slipping away right here? She started so explosively. She's not had an ace. That's a bit surprising. Testimony to the good service returns of Chris. Seizing the lead and perhaps on her way to seizing the championship. Martina is going to have to revive. 2-1 for Everett, last set. Over on court one, it appears John McEnroe breezing toward the finals. 6-3, 6-1. They're on service. One all in the third set, but the drama is at center court. Chris Everett Lloyd has just broken. Martina Navratilova has the lead in the third and decisive set. Can Martina pull herself together? That's the question. And Chris Everett Lloyd keeps attacking. It's wide. But it all goes back to that argument that Martina had early in the second set. She was so composed at that point, blew up a bit, and she's never really been the same player since. She was leading three games to two on a break of serve. Lost the first point of the sixth game on a volley that she thought was good, was called out. That's wide. 15 old. And Chris Everett Lloyd went on a four game run to win the set. And Chris has won six out of seven games since then. Martina, now she's got to do more of that because not only has Chris Everett Lloyd turned the match around 15, in point of score, but she has become the attacker and has kept Martina back. And that is not Martina's game. Chip lob. Yeah. Martina. And now she has a couple of break points. Christopher Lloyd a chance with an overhead winner and couldn't put it away. She okay. sets it up with a sliced lob and Chrissy couldn't put it away. Two break points coming up. The range of Martina again. She's so explosive. Getting to that ball, that would have been a clear winner against most. Break point. Oh, how Martina needs it. Just slice, slice, slice on that forehand, backhand. And she's got the break. Games off. Game to Miss Navratilova. Many ardent.